All right, so now that we have the, the basic footer, we're going to actually need to go and create the three pages, the privacy policy, the terms and conditions, and the uh, contact us page. All right, so and then we, we're going to need to connect them to uh, said footer. And basically for the, uh, the privacy policy, terms and conditions, those are like just transparency things, some social media sites, some, some like, or if you run ads and stuff, they might require those. So it's just good to have them, it's just something basic. And there's uh, free generators online for these. They ask you like six questions. It's like, what's your company name? What's your website? What's your address? Um, how can, you know, anyone that visits this website contact you? Like what kind of information you collect? Just all this basic information, just so you're upfront with people. And then just in case if there's any questions, they can, they can actually get in touch with you. It's really good to have those. Technically you can go without, but they're, they're, might be roadblocks later down the line. So it's just one of those boring things that needs to be done earlier on before you've created like 20 funnels, as I might've mentioned before. So we're going to do it the simple way. We're going to actually do, uh, we're going to create a new funnel. And within that funnel, footer pages, we're going to create all three pages, one after another. They're not going to be connected in any way. It's just, we're just going to kind of keep them in one place since we don't have a website yet. We can do it through there as well. It actually might be a good idea, but since we don't have a website, we just need to set up the pages. This is the simple way. So add new step, privacy, C path slash privacy. All right, let's do that. Click funnels, the URL stays empty because we're not migrating anything from click funnels. Create funnel step. Okay, that's the first one. Let's actually go to settings and let's set up the domain. Since we have connected the domain already, let's just set it up to goodcorgi.com. Let's save it because by default, it was not, the domain was not there. So it's like slash privacy, but the domain was different. It was like the default one, whatever it gives. Okay, let's create the second one. What's, what is it? Terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. Terms. That's the, yeah, the slug after the domain. And obviously ClickFunnels URL stays empty since we're not importing anything, but it's a nice feature though. If you're switching over from ClickFunnels to Funneltopia, it's a nice thing. Uh, add new step. This is going to be the third one. Contact us. Contact. Create funnel step. So basically the first two are pretty simple. Go on Google. This is just the first one I found and I already checked it out and it's fine. They don't they ask for some, you know, upsells in the back end, but this should be for free for like a starter business just to have it be transparent this should, for free later down the line. If you have a bigger company, more like more complicated structures and whatever, you can look to create a something more sophisticated if needed. But in this case, it's just a free generator. And this is the one I'm using. Go Google it. Same phrase. Uh, obviously, it's going to be for a website. So, yeah, now we're going to generate the text and then we're going to copy paste it on the pages that we created right so let's go back let's drag this here website next step all right this is the website good corgi uh, i'm a business so you can be an entity as well individual uh, good corgi inc address fake address United States, in this case, and as an example, obviously put the right address, your address. I just, you know, this is a, uh, not a real business, so it's not a real address. Let's do that. Next step. Uh, what kind of inf information will we be collecting? So I'm guessing, yeah, since there's going to be purchases in e-commerce address, phone number, 99.9% .9 sure, going to collect that as well. First name, last name, email, obviously. I don't think there's anything else, but we can, you know, update this later. But for now, it's fine for what we're doing. Next step. Um, by email. Yeah, Kate at goodcorgi.com. That's going to be the owner of the business. Let's click next step. Uh, it's going to be no. It's like you can go through it, read it, but we're, we're just going to need the basic one. Uh generate all right here we go um it's it was sent to you to, to the email address uh, what i also like to do is, is just like generate files and you can just download a text document or doc x or whatever you know works for you uh, i don't think you can copy it from here you can preview it here 
which, you know, it's completely just a normal basic privacy policy. But yeah, I'm going to go grab it in my email. And then the next step, I'm going to skip over to the part where I copy paste the, the information on the page. Okay, we're back at the privacy. We're going to click on the privacy policy page. I've, it's on my other screen. I've, I've downloaded the doc that has all the copy that's been generated. We're going to paste it in here. So create from blank. All right, let's drag this uh, somewhere here. Uh, add section, regular, full width, add a row, one row, add element. I'm going to make this really simple. You can go fancy with like headline elements were needed, some headline were needed, paragraph, and then switch over to there's some bulleted lists. You can switch over those. You have like 20 sections. Uh, in this case, it, it looks better. But in this case, I'm just going to paste it in. And the, I can guarantee you that pretty much nobody looks at these pages, but you just need them for like legal reasons, right? Uh, which means it's not a priority to worry about the aesthetics of it. It's just, it needs to have all the vital information. Nobody's going to judge you for, you know, it's not like a landing page where it needs to kind of be, be at least half decent, look, look half decent. This, obviously go through a check for, there might be like, like a line that says this, this was generated by, you know, such and such ge generator or some other stuff or just don't you know, make this bold or whatever, right? Do this. You can kind of update this stuff. Formatting is weird. There's some bullet points missing some places where it should be yeah these are all bullet points uh just kind of format it for the bullet points yeah as i said you can do like these specific bullet point bullet list sections or you can just do uh, something like this right you can add these so you can just kind of just, just do that as well these pages privacy policy terms and conditions nothing pretty necessary it's not, these are not going to be the pages to make money for you, right? So, or generate leads, but these are needed. So yeah, let's go publish it. And then we're going to go back and we're going to generate terms and conditions, which is the same process, similar questions, all that stuff. Let's go back. Let's go to terms and conditions. So again, first one I found online, terms and conditions generator.com. It's not a, it's not a personal recommendation. That's just the one I came up with. Like this was literally the first click. Uh, your company name, good Corgi, website name, good Corgi, Corgi, already tested it out. That's why it's suggesting all that stuff. Next, country, United States, there we go, whatever, Georgia. Let's do that. Generate terms and conditions. So this one was simpler. Again, a bunch of legally stuff, but there we go. Copy text, it's pretty much the same thing, right? You can just grab all this stuff and just copy paste it on your page. Let's just select everything, copy. Let's go back to the to the second page in the in the funnel. Okay, now we let's go to terms and conditions, create from blank. Same, same procedure, full width section, add a row, one column, add element. Again, basic text. Select, let's paste it in. Let's select it all. Let's align it left over here. Uh, size, I did 20 pixel. Seems okay to me. Uh, mess around with the spacings and all that and add the uh, hit enter couple places, right? Do all that stuff, go through it, but it's all this legally stuff, right? So you can just read it through, obviously. It's not too long, but Go, go check it out. There's some formatting issues and stuff like that, maybe. And, you know, some, some headlines that need to be bold. Maybe like a three-minute process, maybe a little bit more, five minutes. Go through it, go do all that stuff, and then your page is ready. So that's for the first two pages. And in the next video, we're going to create the third one, which is the Contact Us page, which is a little bit more techy. But again, you do it once, it'll be pretty straightforward. Seems daunting at first, but once you do it, it's pretty straightforward. And again, you set it up and it just works. So uh, yeah, see you in the next video.